do Blake and I really have in common? Today, I think we're gonna find out. Let's get on with the show. Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Lizzie and this is my co-host Blake. We are so excited to spend the next week with you campers laughing and doing some crazy things on camera. Oh, yeah. Last week we had a wild week mm -hmm. of camp here at Windshape Bond. It was such a blast, but this week we cannot wait to see what we have in store for all of you. Yeah, I'm really excited. I've been seeing um, some people dancing around I the saw show. Them warming up. Yeah, uh, I was thinking. I saw someone that was ready to play some games. Yep, I definitely. So was he wearing a gold like it suit? It was sequiny gold. It was something. Yeah, but so I'm we got excited. A lot. You know, and then later today we're gonna do skills yeah, and are. compete in our forces, and we're gonna hear all about that, which yep. is awesome. But Today's I gonna be incredible. am so excited. We yeah. got so much. But Lizzie, I know some of our friends out there already know us, but aren't you excited to get to know some of our new campers that are tuning in this week with yes, us? Yes, absolutely. Meeting new people is one of my all-time favorite things. You told me that. Yes, and some of you have joined us for this show before, and we've already become camp pals. So how you doing? But for those <laughs> of you joining us at camp for the first time, welcome. Yeah. Well, Lizzie, since we have new campers, I was thinking maybe, you know, we could play a little game. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah, so like I hide think, and seek. No, not like, like hide and seek, but I think we should play a game where we get to share about ourselves to the new viewers out there. They need to get to know us and okay. how funny and cool and awesome and amazing you are as a co-host. Thank you, I appreciate yes, that. Course. Yeah. <laughs> and you too, Blake. But Thank you know what? Okay, what are you thinking? What can we do to get to know each other okay. some more? So I think that we should play a little game I like to call Yay or Nay. Okay, mm, and here's okay. how it's gonna work. Yeah. One of us will call out a category, and the other one will have to tell us their favorite or their yay. Okay. So their favorite is their yay. That makes sense. Yay. And then their least favorite is their nay, yeah. like yeah. Okay. So that's great. Does that make sense? Sure. So for example, I might yell out like your favorite uh, camp theme song, Ooh. or I would say camp theme song. Okay. And you would say yay, and then tell me what your favorite one is. Yay. And you say nay, like wasn't feeling that one that much. Still okay. great, but wasn't feeling. That makes sense. Okay. You know, I actually have some. Uh, Cards ready. You have cards. Yeah. That's ready crazy. To play this I game. also have some no cards way. ready. No uh, way! Yep, I'm Look, prepared. We already have something in common. Okay, here's the first one. Okay. Your category is. Category is. Animals. Animals. Yay. Uh, wolf. Love wolves. That's my favorite. Nay. Possums. I hate possums. What did possums do to you? I, they're nasty, ugly, terrible. They're gross. Wow. Anyways, I feel passionate about that. I you feel, really do. I feel more passionate about my nay being possums than... Than your yay being wolves? Than my yay being wolves. All right. Well, just to give you some minds so you can know. Uh, yeah, yay, what's your yay? Yay then? would be like tigers, maybe? Okay. I just think they're so beautiful. Yeah, that's a good yeah, yay. Like, maybe like Raja. Ooh, mm. That's one of my favorite mm. characters. Okay. Um, But nay... Your nay. Nay animal. Nay. I don't really like, like platypuses. I don't know. They kind uh. of like... Freak me out. Yeah, that's what? fair. You know I don't know that's if okay. I've ever even seen one. Yeah, all right, your turn. The Disney show that has <laughs> one. True, parody. maybe they don't really exist. All right, okay, for you, you, second guess. All right, go ahead. Or second prompt. Yes. Second prompt. <laughs> your yay or nay? Okay. House chores. Okay, my yay is actually washing the dishes. I don't know. You love what, washing I do. Them. I just there's something about like it being soapy. Like hand washing or just pushing, putting them in a the dishwasher. That's easy. Hand washing. Hand washing. Okay. I don't like putting them in the dishwasher because then it's all grody. Um, my nay is like, like, I don't know, uh, like maybe vacuuming because like I feel like it's just okay. repetitive. Yeah. And like even though you can leave like the V shape on the car, it just doesn't. It's not fun. Kind of like driving a race car. I feel but like. like the world's least fun race car. Yeah. That's right. Okay. What are yours? Uh, yay for house chore. My favorite house chore. I'm gonna be honest. I love. I like doing laundry. I love putting it in the washing machine, throwing it over. I like taking <laughs> out the socks. warm clothes. I love doing laundry, but when it comes to t-shirts, I have way too many t-shirts. I don't like folding them. So, so could that uh, could them? that also be my, my nay. nay? Yeah. That's my yay and my nay. All I right. love laundry right. up until I have to fold a t-shirt, then I'm out. All right, you wanna do, yep. should we do one more? Let's do one more. Okay, yeah. one more. You wanna go, I, I got one. This, you go, you, you do yours. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yay or nay, 
outdoor activities. Oh, okay. Yay. Fave outdoor activity. Tennis. I really tennis. love playing tennis. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nay. Um. I don't know. What do you mean? I don't think I hate anything outdoors. Okay. Getting sunburned? Getting sunburned. <laughs> that happens all the time. That is your least favorite outdoor activity. Yeah. Okay. And yours? My yay, currently, I get in these weird phases, but uh, playing golf. Okay. Oh, I wish I was on the cool golf set. course. I might go today, who knows? Nay, nay, outdoor activity, probably weed eating. So specific. I don't like it. My brother always got to ride the, the riding lawnmower, and oh, then my brother those got the push. Awesome. And I weed got eating? stuck weed eating. Yeah, that's the terrible. ditch, usually. That is terrible. Yeah. Well, you know what? Thank Where all the you snakes are. For sharing that, I feel like I learned so much more about yeah. you. And hopefully, you know, campers, you at home were able to get to know us a little bit better, too. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. And yeah. who knew all those things about you? Yeah. Thanks for sharing. You learn something that. new every day. But you know what? I think our campers this yeah. week would love to learn our theme song. What do you think, Blake? I think that is a great idea. That is my yay, <laughs> the show activity, is yay. dancing along to our theme song so what do we say we bring out our worship leaders Tiffany and Bennett out to lead us in worship each day this week we're gonna be dancing along oh, yeah. singing with them so campers stand up for the first time get off that couch off yes, your bed let's go. out of the table we're gonna be dancing <laughs> stand up and jam along with us at home what's up Windshape Nation my name is Tiffany this is Bennett and our awesome worship team we're gonna have so much fun this week singing and dancing and worshiping God if you're ready I said let's dance Jimmy, Jim, John, the fourth, and you are watching Are You Smarter Than a Camper?
All right, contestants, are you ready to get started? We are We're ready. ready. All right, so the, the, the instructions to the game are quite simple. We have called up the camper schools and we have put together a series of questions that they have been tested on mm -hmm. this year. And you have three questions to see if you get a passing grade. Now, when I ask the question, okay. the first person to buzz gets a chance to answer. But if you get it wrong, your opponent gets a chance to steal each correct answer. Okay. It's worth one point. The person with the least amount of points proves not to be smarter than a camper and gets to spin the Wheel of Misfortune. Whoa, 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 wait. Is it still yep, Misfortune? Yep, that's it's what not... I said for wait, our comfort back at camp, back at home. We have we the it. Wheel of Misfortune, oh, no. which is a fun addition we add to all of our exciting games here throughout the week. Lizzie and Blake will each have to spin the wheel to see what crazy consequence they have to do. Only if we lose. But they have no idea what the consequence is. No. <laughs> so it's going to be a big surprise. Right. Let's get started. <laughs> Question number one. What is the name of the woods that Winnie the Pooh lives in? A, a Never Never Land. B, Wonderland. C, 100 Acre Woods. C, 100 Acre Woods. Well, that is correct. I had no clue. Next. If you visit visited the Everglades National Park, which state did you go to? A, South Carolina, <laughs> B, Florida, C, Oregon. Florida, or B, yeah. Florida. That is correct. Okay. All right, so this last one's gonna be worth two points. Oh, is it multiple choice, sir? Yes, they okay. are. All multiple choice. We'll wait Do we have to wait? Yes. Okay. The alpaca is a species of an animal in what family? A, camels, B, lizard, C, dog. A. That is too <laughs> bad. We, go. we yes. did the same time. Camels. Blue means Blake. And I got it right. Blue means Blake. Get out of here. Well, viewers at home, campers, since I won, Lizzie will be spinning the wheel of misfortune. Sorry. Um, so, we have 10 things on here that uh, are not very fun. So, Lizzie, you will spin this. We have no idea what these are. And you will get to do whatever it is. So, go ahead and give it a big spin. All right, here we go. What do you not want, Lizzie? I don't want Silent Disco. It's a sweet, sweet first day of and the I show. Don't I'm want... so excited. <laughs> no, uh... Who's a little teapot? All right. Thank you. All right, it says, seeing I'm a little teapot with motions in a Yoda accent. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'll I give you the say. Do that. Ah! Teapot, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Teapot. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Spout is here. <laughs> with motions. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm a little teapot. <laughs> Teapot, shoot you. You do it, and I'll just wow. do motions. Well, campers, that was weird. The force definitely was isn't with her. not with me today. I'm so glad that I didn't have to do that, because that was just weird it was. But <sighs> I think it's time for us to check back in with our friends Tiffany and Bennett for some more dancing.
At Windshape On, we'll get to watch some exciting competitions throughout the week by our forest captains. Okay, wait, wait. Before we get into that, I think we should first explain a little bit more what a force is. Yep, Lizzie, that's a great point. Thank you for reminding me. Of course. So right now, each of you campers belongs to a force. It might be water, earth, fire, or wind. Think of these forces as like a club or a team that you get to be a part of. Yeah. They're a ton of fun, and you're going to learn more about your force later on today. But for right now, I think we actually have some of our force captains here to answer some interview questions. That is awesome. Well, so let's go ahead and give it up for your force captains. If you have blue on at home, mm -hmm. you're part of the water force. Go ahead and stand up and welcome the, the water, water force, force captains. captains. Hello, water hello, force. Hello. Welcome, welcome to the show. Good to see you Oh, guys. OK. They're staying hydrated they for the are, competition this week. which is awesome. So we want to know, why should our campers at home be excited to be a part of the water force? You can see everybody needs water to survive. So sure. technically, we're all part of the water this force. This is true. But you should be excited because we're going to wash out the competition. Okay. This week, mm. so. That's, wow. good. Mm. That's mm. a good word. Great answer. So for you, Caleb, how are you planning on making a splash this week? Well, you know, every day I take <laughs> a lot of time uh, into uh, staying hydrated. Yeah. Uh, and one of those ways is taking a bath so you can splash in the bath so. you can splash in the bath that's awesome that's awesome well hopefully guys will flood out the competition this week all right <laughs> very good and we'll see well, you guys you next time thank you guys yeah. thanks for joining us all right if you have green on at home you are a part of the earth force so please give it up for your earth force captains okay earth force welcome what is up oh, this is your doing good that Rock awesome. the Dwayne Johnson. Well, we want to know, what have you two been doing to prepare for such a huge competition this week? Yeah, actually, Roxy has been training us. We've been rock climbing. We've been throwing rocks at each other and dodging them. That's good. And we put rocks in our backpack. Okay, wow. Yep, That's good. Sure. If you can dodge rock, you can dodge the competition. Yes, exactly. That's what they say. Absolutely. Yeah, well, what you guys say. are known as the rock stars of Wind Shape On. Oh, wow. uh, when it comes to music, like, what do you like to rock out to? Oof. That's a tough question. Um, I would say it has to be no other than rock and roll. You rock know? and yeah. roll. So why not just go with rock and roll? A little we will, Love we it. will rock you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very awesome. cool. Well, yeah. hopefully you guys stay grounded this week against Ooh. all the competition. <laughs> They're huge. And hopefully you guys will rock it out. Yeah. Thank you. Give me rock. All right. Thanks so much. See you, Thanks right. for being here, y'all. If you are wearing red at home, you are a part of the Fire Force. So let's give it up for our Fire Force Fire captains. Fire Force. What's up? Hi. Hi. What's up, Fire Force? How you doing? You got a lot of fans out there, man. I can hear them cheering for you. So what makes the Fire Force the force to beat this week? The force to beat. You got this. I would have to say that similar to this curry powder, mm -hmm. uh -huh. We, we keep things spicy. We keep things hot, oh, full wow, of flavor. Wow. Yes. Oh. No one ever is going to know what's going to happen. You never exactly. know. So yeah, exactly. Wow. We pour a little of that on the competition. Okay. There you go. Okay. There you go. I love it. Well, uh, Larica, could you show us one of your fire dance moves? You got to hand me a roll. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. 
incredible. Oh, you guys so are on fire. Hope yeah. you stay hot this whole week. Yeah. Well, thanks so much Hand for doing that, guys. Was that, that pretty good? It was a good try. See y'all later. Try. Hey, right. thanks for if joining us on the show. If you are wearing gray at home, you're a part of the Wind Force, so please give it up for our final force, the Wind Force captains. Wind Force. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Blown away. Amazing. Very cool. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the show. Hello. All right, so what do you two do to train for your captain's challenges every day? Uh, it's simple. We just run against the wind. Okay, that's run good. Run against the wind. Hey, that's, that's hard. That's great training. Yeah, it is Aerobic great training. training right for there. For sure, some cardio. Um, so you guys have a lot of fans in the Wind Shape On Nation. We do. Who do you think is your biggest fan? Biggest fan. Wind fan. No. It's good. One. It's good. My biggest fan is the one in, in my room. Above me, when I sleep at night, it blows a good breeze. That's good. Love That's my it. biggest fan. I yeah. love it. Love Incredible. That. Well, hopefully you guys blow out the rest of the competition this for week. Sure. Yeah. It's going to be a great week. It is. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for joining us. For joining us on the show. <laughs> wow. Give me a roll. Okay. Well, you know what? This whole week, we're going to be getting to tune in to a really special show. We have this friend. His name is Aiden, mm -hmm. and he is producing his own show straight from his house. Wait, wait. He's producing it from his house? Yeah. That's crazy. I Aiden. Know. Yeah. Oh. And with this weird time we're in, you know, a lot of us are spending a lot more time at home, mm -hmm. and Aiden is too. Yeah, and especially this summer, with us not to be able to be all together for camp in person. Yeah. You know, Aiden is taking advantage of this time, and he's producing this wild show straight from his house. Incredible. Well, I cannot wait to see what Aiden is up to. I know. This week. Me too. So let's check it out. Yeah. Amazing Aiden! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Aiden's awesome guide to living alone. I'm Aiden, and I'm coming to you from my house, where I'm completely alone. Look. Freedom! 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 Yeah! Freedom! Awesome, right? My parents were supposed to be gone for one day, but something came up, and now they won't be back for like a lot of days. No adult supervision. No babysitter, no Nana. Why? Because my mom and dad want me to. They were like, We know we can trust you totally and completely 100%, dude. I don't know. Mom, please, mom, 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 please, please, mom, mom, please, please, mom, please. Mm, I don't remember it happening that way. So, here's how I spent my first day of total freedom. Freedom! To maximize my freedom, I need to consult with the Council of Elders. Council of Elders! Guys, I need ideas. My mom and dad aren't coming back for several days. Epic! Awesome! Oh no! You should turn your living room into a wrestling arena. Take apart all the appliances. Give yourself a tattoo. Follow all the rules completely so your parents know they can always trust you. Good one, Haley. Oh, light bulb. There's only one rule. No rules. Oh, yeah. This won't end well. Life hacks! Welcome to Aiden's No Rules Life Hack segment. Walking downstairs takes forever. We've only got two legs, yet there are literally thousands of stairs in every house. But by using my mom and dad's bedroom door and my dad's off limits tools, I can create a fun way to get downstairs fast. My mom and dad are gonna love this. Introducing the stair slide. Amazing Aiden! Works perfect. I totally forgot the door, but I didn't need it anyway. The landing was a little rough, but my mom's antique table broke my fall. Hey, I'm hungry. Cooking with Aiden. Welcome to Aiden's No Rules Cooking segment. My mom is always trying to make me eat gross stuff. Today, I'll be using my mom's secret junk food stash to create a delicious stew. The nice thing about stews, 
you just use what you have. We'll be starting with a nice soda base. Measuring's for grannies. Pour away, Pikachu. Next, add whatever junk food you have. Do not measure. Put this on extreme heat and stir randomly until it looks like hot lava. Dining. With AJ. Mm. My compliments to the chef. And that's my day. If you watch this, now you have to buy a t-shirt. Click the link below right now. And subscribe. I'm here every day proving to everybody I can do this on my own. Everything is under control. Uh-oh. Wow, it looks like Aiden is on a wild adventure for <laughs> sure, and I really don't know if this is going to end well for Yeah, there is no chance that I would do that. I mean, friends, please do not try sliding down your stairs on a door. Right. No, just don't. Well, <laughs> we're going to check in with Aiden tomorrow to see how he's doing. But yeah, my house growing up, no way I would have gotten away with that. Yeah, for sure. But you know, Watching Aiden on his wild adventure, it reminds me of how we are actually going to be going on an adventure of our own this week. Wait, you and I? Yeah. And them? Oh, yeah. We're all going on an adventure. Yes. Where are we going? Well, we are exploring the rainforest this week. Oh, that's right. You are telling yeah. me about that. And that's how we're going to learn about someone called the life giver, right? Absolutely. And speaking of life, the rainforest is full of life. Did you know that there are more than 40,000 different kinds of plants in the rainforest? and over 2,000 different kinds of animals. Wow, I think I've heard that somewhere, maybe in the past couple weeks, I think I've heard that. Yeah, but did you know that there are multiple layers mm -mm. in the rainforest? No, what okay. are you talking about? There are a number of different layers, but okay. they're fancy and scientific, but we're gonna go with three layers that I like. Three Lizzie's layers. Yes, that's it. All right, the first is the forest floor. It's all the way okay. down at the bottom. All it's right. where all the creepy crawlies are. And there's rocks and, and different plants. Okay. And then you go up to the second level and okay. that's the canopy where you can see all the stuff growing in trees and all the colors and there's mm. monkeys swinging from the vines. Okay. And you get the picture? Sure, yeah. I okay. Think. And then finally the layer I like to call the treetops. Ooh, is that the official name for it? Well, that's what I like to call it. Okay, so <laughs> You're telling me that the rainforest is so full of life it and there's is. so much of it, but do you know where all of it comes from? Yes, where all life comes from, the life giver. Mm, well, that makes sense. But what if there's a viewer or somebody watching that wonder who the life giver is? Well, the good news is we're gonna learn all about him this whole week, especially during worship. But the first thing that you need to know is Jesus is the life giver. As a matter of fact, that truth about Jesus is what we're learning today in the rainforest. So Jesus is the life giver is our today's truth, you could say. Uh, yeah, and I'm saying it. So let's all say it together. Oh, and we should add motions. Let's do motions. Because it makes it fun, it helps us remember. All right, here we go. Jesus, Jesus is, is the, the life giver. giver. Exactly. Incredible. Yeah, well we get to explore so much more about the life giver and worship later today, so make sure you check it out. Yep, that's awesome. And I can't wait to see it, but Lizzie, I think we are almost out of time. Yeah, and at the end of the show, we'll be giving you a question of the day for you to answer. You could be voting for something for us to do or something crazy. So today's question is, what is your favorite color? Check back in tomorrow and you'll find out why we want to know. So scroll down, click Kimper question, and submit your favorite color. Awesome. And we also want to see pictures of all the fun that you're having in your skills and during other parts of the week. Yeah. Campers, ask your parents or legal guardians to share pictures of you on their social media accounts. They can tag us at Windshape Camps and they can use the hashtag, hashtag Camp Stop Won't Stop. We cannot wait to see all the fun that you're gonna have this week. We'll see you later today, right back here on The, the show. show.